Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to Cooking Live with Mr. Tater Buggin. We're looking for a big crowd tonight. Hope everybody will pile in here and say hello to us. Tonight we are going to cook uh, my grandmother's meatloaf recipe, which is to die for. It, I know everybody has a probably has a, a meatloaf recipe, but this one is really great. I want to share it with you. My grandmother lived to be 100 years old. Um, she was very near and dear to my heart and lived down in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida for most of her life. Um, we're also going to have uh, Lindy's macaroni and cheese. This is uh, my wonderful assistant. Lindy. Hello, you, everybody. Everybody knows Lindy. There's uh, everybody, Danette and Michelle, Joyce. Hey, everybody. Glad to see everybody coming in. Uh, Sharon. And our lovely assistant, yes. <laughs> Betty's here and Carol. Pat. Betty Sargent's here already? Uh-huh. Good. Glad to have everybody. But, Pat uh, and Trish. Trish is here. Phil. Trisha. Hello, everybody. But again, we're the uh, macaroni and cheese recipe is a, a specialty of Lindy. She makes it for us every now and then, but especially at Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it's a very special recipe. I know there are thousands of recipes out there for macaroni and cheese, but uh, uh, this one is uh, very special to me, and uh, I, I think you will really enjoy it. So it uh, looks like we've got a pretty good crowd in here. I'm saying we're ready to get started. Uh, I'm going to start by preheating an oven uh, to 350 degrees for the, the meatloaf and the macaroni and cheese. And Let me say this, that uh, we appreciate y'all sprinkling. If y'all know anybody who might like some new recipes or might enjoy something like that, please invite them on over. There's we, Opa. Oh, okay. Love you, Opa. Hey, Opa. Thank you. Yes, uh, sprinkles and toss the taters for us, if you will. Frances says she's been waiting for this. Good, I hope so. There's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Darlene. And Patricia Kimball. Hey, Patricia. Darlene from Hot Oregon. Gail Chandler, glad to see all of y'all coming in. Really glad to see everybody here this evening. Thank hope we you. have some new people. Uh, again, my lovely assistant is going to be my um, my moderator this evening. <laughs> she's going to she's going to be she's going to watch the comments and. If you're new and hadn't seen us before, we are really glad to have you here. You're very welcome to join us. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started here. Yeah, if you have any questions, just, just type them in and I'll try to catch them. I'm going to start with you, the ingredient list uh, that we'll need for this meatloaf, and it really is a very simple one. Um, we're going to need uh, one heavy, one big teaspoon, or excuse me, tablespoon of... Uh, onion soup uh, seasoning. Now I have, I have my very own that I made. Uh, I, I put together my own uh, onion mix, but if not, we're gonna use just regular onion soup mix and it would take one package. My oven is preheated and ready to go. Thank you, Miss Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll need uh, one uh, teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. We're going to need two pounds of, guess what? The recipe would call for ground beef, but I am going to use deer burger. Yep, ground deer. That's what I'll be using. Of course, you can use ground beef. That uh, makes it come out the same way. Grandmother always used ground beef. Um, we're gonna need uh, two eggs. We'll need a uh, cup of oats, just regular oats. And I just use regular old Quaker oats, good old white Quaker oats. One cup of those, uh, a teaspoon of salt, and uh, one cup of milk. So let's get started here. We're gonna need a big bowl to mix this all in. So I'm gonna get this package of Deer burger open and. While it's open, I'm going to 
opening that, I want to let y'all know I've been working on our YouTube channel today, the Tater Buggin YouTube channel. Uh, we've got a playlist of all of his past cooking shows. I think I only have one more left to upload. They limit me to 10 a day. So I'll be slowly but surely uploading all of our videos, but I started with his cooking videos. So if you're new and want to see his past ones, in a, you know, where you know you can get right to them, you can just go to our YouTube on Taterbug and we'd love for you to subscribe. And I'll say this, Lindy's told me uh, yesterday, I think it was, that we've done, now done, 10 different recipes and I really... Actually, it's 11 now. We're, this is the, gonna be the 11th? I think so, I believe so. I didn't, I didn't realize we had done that many, but I'm gonna try to get this over here where you can see pretty much what I'm doing. Hope everybody can I see will that. Try to, I'll pop a link to our YouTube uh, page for y'all. All right, so we have our meat. We're gonna put in one good heaping teaspoon, a uh, tablespoon, excuse me, I keep saying teaspoon. It's tablespoon of onion soup. One good scoop of that. And we're just gonna scatter that in the Get a big bowl now, because it's going to be a lot that you're mixing here. Hello, everybody. You've hit 100. You're at 100 well, so far. Well, hello. Yes, Sandy. He just, the Food Network needs to get in touch with him, right? They do. Please move the camera over so we can see what you're doing, Maureen. Can you, can you not see? I thought you could, let's see. Let me move it just a little bit Thank more. Thank you, Maureen. We, we need y'all to let us know those things. How's that? That's cutting my head off. Well, you can read it up a little bit, Mr. Tall. How's that? Okay. We're going to go with... Uh, okay, so we've got two pounds of meat. We've got uh, one tablespoon of onion soup mix. Is that good? Can you see? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to do a... Thank you, Judy, for the stars. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And a little bit... Oh, a little bit extra there. I'll just make it better. I love Worcestershire sauce. That makes it taste good. All right, so we're going to just crack two eggs in this bowl, and we're just going to crack them like that. And that's in there. And now we have to have a cup of oats. Thank you, Audrey, for the stars. Y'all are so sweet. All right, so we're just going to be one cup of oats. There we go. We're just going to put, drop that in there. You're saying they don't want to share you with Food Network. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so we've got that in there. We're going to add just a, a half a teaspoon of salt, which is just a little pinch. And yes, that's my fancy salt grinder. Electric salt grinder. We have a link to those in our Amazon shop pinned to the top of our page. All right, and we need one cup of milk. Aurelia, it's two pounds of uh, ground meat. Two pounds, Grandma yes. always used ground sirloin. We're using ground venison tonight. Yes, we're using ground venison. And we're gonna put that milk in there. And the next thing you do, go wash your hands, cause we're going to mix that by hand. So I'm going to make sure that my hands are... Oh, good. Leah, that's great. She said she could watch you cook a phone book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so make sure your hands are clean after handling all that. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to mix this up with our hands, which is the best way to do it. And the thing that you've got to do here is you got to mix everything and incorporate everything into every little bite, every little spoonful of that meat. And the best way to do that is just mix it with your hands and push, and I'm sure everybody's probably at one time made some kind of meatloaf. This is the part Lindy really hates. She just hates sticking her hands in, in, in meat. meat. Uh. 
What's the difference between oats and breadcrumbs? Maureen, even in uh, Grandma Tate's recipe, she says you can use cracker crumbs. Yes. It's just anything um, that's binding, I believe. If you want kind to of use, a filler, I think. Yeah, breadcrumbs, it's, it's binding with, you know. I so. suppose you could use breadcrumbs. I, I like the taste and, and texture of the uh, of the oat flakes in there. I do too. And I think you'll, once you, here's what I'd like for you to do. Follow the recipe one time exactly. And my favorite chef, Julie Olson, says always do the, the recipe one time, the way it's written, and then Doctor change it. it up, yeah. Yeah, then change it to, to suit you. Tweak it. Now I will say when Grandma Tate made this for us while we were down there, it was eleven years ago, like I posted today, I don't care for meatloaf very much. But she told me, she said, just let's give this one a try. I didn't tell her I didn't like meatloaf <laughs> till after I tried it, we're actually. Gonna try that. We weren't going to say that to Grandma, were you? No, but, oh, I loved it so much. Then I told her. Then I told her I really didn't like it, but hers was so good that I got the recipe, and we've made it ever since. That's like the, uh, um, about five years ago, we went down to visit with her for a few days. And she took us to a lighthouse that's... Yeah, uh, that was 11 years ago now. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I looked no, it up today. I did. I looked it up today. Okay, so anyway, we went to a, a lighthouse that's on the uh, end of the peninsula there south of Daytona Beach. And uh, Lindy and I were going to climb to the top of that so we could see... <laughs> um, Grandma so we, said, I'll wait at the bottom. I've grandma done it was, too many times. Of course, Grandma was, you know, she was 90-something years old at that tower night, right at 90. Yeah, but she had just done it so many times. Yeah. She did it all the time. She said she'd just wait for us on the bench down in uh, the little uh, foyer, not the little foyer. Courtyard the, area. Yeah, there's a little courtyard area down there. So we started in the lighthouse, and we started up the stairs. Well, the stairs are uh, <laughs> wire mesh stairs. <laughs> Lindy made it up about two flights, and... <laughs> I was going to try to hit the third one, and my legs quit moving. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So she couldn't make it, so I went up to the top of the lighthouse, took some pictures, came back down. Lindy was still... She was, was already... still in the same spot. She was still in the same spot, hanging on to a windowsill there, so... <laughs> um, we went back outside and went to see Grandma. And, <laughs> so... Oh, uh, no. Oh no. Why are we frozen? I don't know. Let's see. Can y'all hear me? Um oh she said oh no it ended. Baby, yeah. my hands are here. I know. I can't. Okay, are we back? Are we back? Oh, we're back. Are we back? Are we back? We're waiting for y'all. Waiting to find out if we're back here yet. It, we lost connection there, apparently. That's been happening so much. Thank you, Lori. Lori says we're back. Okay. Okay, we're back. I don't know how much of his story y'all heard. Okay, Betty, what part of the story did I did you hear? <laughs> Where did we get to? It yeah. Was... Yeah, Lori has finished the lighthouse story, please. I don't know where it ended. Yeah, I don't know where we were. Where I had to step we're over blocked. and feed the cat. <laughs> um... Okay, let us know. Yeah, Betty, well, can you tell us kind of where we were? Yeah, everybody's letting us know we're back, but I don't know where. We're so anyway, Lindy and I, I'll, I'll kind of go back and. Uh, I what have a say? terrible fear of heights. Let's just say Finish that. Finish lighthouse story. I will. I'm trying to find out where we were. Um, you came right back. Um, Okay, came down and Lindy was still in the same spot. Okay, Lindy was on a windowsill down there. <laughs> and she was all... Oh, I couldn't she move. Was messed My up. legs locked up. Yeah, so uh, we went back outside and Grandma's sitting on a bench down there. And she, Grandma says, well, Lindy, I didn't see you up in the white, in the lighthouse there. And, and we had to tell her that Lindy couldn't go up there. So Grandma looks at her and says, what's the matter with you, you big chicken? <laughs> she, she, she was a... Hoot. She was a hoot. But anyway, later that night, we got back to <laughs> Grandma's condominium, and uh, we're sitting on the uh, couch, and Lindy said something about uh, her legs still hurting, and Grandma looked at her and says, you really were scared, weren't you? And, and Lindy... I said, yes, I couldn't. <laughs> My legs locked up so tight, I was sore for two days. <laughs> All these people were waiting behind us to get up the stairs, and I, I had grabbed the railings to hold on, 
and my legs wouldn't move. She and they were like, go on, lady. She was all locked up and holding up people, and I told her, sit on the windowsill. I had to just sit on the windowsill. All right, so back to the cooking, sorry. The uh, meatloaf is all mixed here. I'm going to wash my hands off a little bit right quick. Okay, yay. Darlene, you found this on YouTube. Yay. Um, I hope that link worked. Yeah, I popped a link in there to our YouTube channel that y'all can um, subscribe to. And I'll be making playlists of all of his cooking videos. And then I'll slowly but surely get all my videos put up too. They make me do, they'll only let me do 10 a day. Oh, she was so feisty, Michelle. Let me tell you. I old. went, Gerald uh, rode around to the front of her little condo building to pick her up, and I was standing there waiting with her, and I was just going to hold her arm to help her step down off the curb to get in the car, and she <laughs> said, don't hold my arm, kid. If I fall, I'll smush a flatter in a fritter, and we about died. We've never forgotten that. Uh, All right, back to the cooking. Her. Our meatloaf is going to go into just a regular uh, bread loaf pan. Uh, I've got some spray olive oil here. I'm going to coat that pan, just kind of a light coat. We were talking tonight about, I mean, earlier today about we hoped Grandma would be here with us tonight. Yes, because I know she is in spirit. She was, we miss her bad. Miss all our grandmas bad. She was a hoot, but she was a sweetheart. She, uh, oh, yes. She loved everybody and believed everybody was good and I think feisty is the perfect word for her. Yeah. She, was, she had spunk. Grandma did live to be one, uh, four days short of 100 years old. Oh, she wanted to make it so bad. All right, so we just got a pan here. We're going to take this meatloaf. We're going to put this mixture in this pan. And you did, you said you sprayed it? Did you I tell sprayed them you sprayed it? it? I sprayed it with olive oil. I told them that. Oh, sorry. And we're just going to push this down in here and kind of smooth it out and... Make it as neat and pretty as we can. Trisha's watching. Trisha. He's a perfectionist. Trisha, I'm coming down to cook supper for you tomorrow night. He is. We're headed down to Trisha's tomorrow. It's her sister's birthday, and we're going down there. He's going to cook for him. It'll be a fun time. All right. Oh, did you, Joyce? That's so wonderful. I think it was my great grandmother or great great that lived to be 104. But yeah. Yeah. All right. So the the meatloaf is in there, ready to go. I just kind of smoothed it out a little bit. We're gonna pop this in the oven, 350 degrees, one full hour. Trisha said, "I can't wait. We're so excited." All right. I'm gonna set a timer here for the hour. And Lori's aunt uh, made it to 100, too. Is that wow, right? Wow, that's wonderful. All right, so let me get some of this <laughs> Actually, out of it's her sister Carolyn's birthday, Michelle. I'm going to get some of this out of the way here and get ready for some macaroni and cheese. And for that, you might have to tilt the phone uh, down, down a little bit a more. Little bit, yeah. All right, so a couple of things are going to happen here. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to be out of the picture, but I want you all to, to, to see these well, pots. You know what you could do? You could back it up. We could, you know, back it up where they could still see. Yeah. Still see. How's that? And see this pot right here? How about this pot right here? And see that <laughs> pot right there? Okay. So you need two deep pans. These are four-quart pans. This one, I'm going to put water in them for noodles. Uh, Cindy, that's okay. Yeah, the meatloaf just went in the oven. Hey, Gail. And All right, we're going to put about four cups of water in there. And in this pan, we're going to turn the, the heat on kind of medium hot. And we are going to put three tablespoons of good old butter. I did not know that, Lori. I did not know. She said if you go, if you video horizontally, we can cast it to our TVs in the future. Oh, I'm going to remember that. If what now? If you go horizontally, if yeah. you video horizontally. Oh, okay. uh, I'm missing something. Yeah, um, so they'll be able to watch you on the TV. You know, just oh, really? Cast okay. It. I'm so glad to know that. Thank you. 
Then right. he'd then he'd be a movie star, Betty said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we got a pot with three tablespoons of butter. We're gonna let that start melting. Here we're gonna turn this on high because we want this water to boil. We're gonna put in eight ounces of large elbow macaroni. As soon as that comes to a boil, we're gonna dump that in there. We need eight ounces of that. In that water, I want you to put a little bit of salt. And then we're going to put in a little bit of butter. Ran out of butter. Pat, are you watching us on the TV? I, I, so you can do it if you go this way, uh, vertical. Uh, yeah, I need to try it, Lori, I really do. All right, on your macaroni, the elbows, uh, put a, about a tablespoon of butter in there and, and the macaroni won't stick together as bad. You got it, Libby. <laughs> Our butter is melting. Now we're gonna make, what we're gonna do to start this macaroni and cheese is we're gonna make a roux. So we need a couple of things here. We're gonna need two tablespoons of flour. Uh, Patricia, no, we're not live on YouTube right now. We're just live on Facebook and I will be able to upload this video to YouTube tomorrow. Two tablespoons of flour, just good old all-purpose flour right there ready to go. Jean, um, you can find that on our Amazon list. It's pinned to the top of our tater bugging page. Uh, those, we really love those salt and pepper grinders. Oh, that's great, Pat. Kids are great for that techy stuff, right? All right, we need two cups of milk. Neither will we, Carmela. It's only, this is the recipe. All my, well, all my boys, I'm including Gerald. This is one of their favorites. Just two good old cups of whole milk. And the butter is about melted. As soon as that butter gets to a, gets melted, then we're going to sprinkle in. Use a, use a plastic spoon because I've got a Cop copper nonstick pot here. We're going to sprinkle that flour in there, and then just incorporate that in the butter. Stir, stir, stir. <clears throat> Y'all are going to love this. This is a good, good old comfort meal right here. My, my <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are making comfort food here, meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. Can't get any better than that. All right, that's incorporated. So as soon as that happens, two cups of milk, dump it in there right off the bat. Patricia, Not slow. I will, I'll put it in here, down here, I'll uh, post a link for you. And then, the saga begins. Turn your heat up to a medium high. Now where I turn this up to, my settings go up to a 10, I'm putting this on eight, because we've got to bring this. I would, eight? to a low boil. Right. I'm trying to speed it up a little oh, okay. bit. Our water is uh, heating up for the noodles. We're gonna to try to time this about right here. This roux, um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with making a roux, but Lindy showed me very quickly, you gotta stir it all the time because what happens if you leave milk on a hot stove? It will scald and stick to the bottom of the pan. So it's got to constantly be stirred. Hey, Amanda, there's Amanda so, from Amanda May. The other thing is that while this is happening, we have to cube up. <laughs> if we can get it open. Ooh, we're already get open. There's the link uh, to the Amazon uh, that has all of our, our list of our favorites. All right, so we, got, we have to cube up uh, eight ounces of Velveeta cheese to go in the macaroni. Okay? Yeah, Amanda, I hope you're 
a lot better today. Keep stirring that milk. Keep stirring that milk. And I'm going to try to do this. That's what I usually do. And I, while it, in the beginning, I would just go in. Yeah. If we're waiting for that to come to a boil, so I'm going to try to. And if you put it in that same two cup thing that the milk was in, it won't stick to it. Cleaned. Uh-oh. Okay. Right, that was one of my little tricks I learned. <laughs> yeah. If I put the cubed Velveeta in the two cup container that the milk was in, it wouldn't stick to it. So, um... Amanda, I'm not coming over there. I had to stay in my pajamas day today. I'm not getting on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason you cube this now, of course, is that it helps to make it melt quicker when we put it into this, uh... Roux. So Lori, I'm just there's gonna, always a dog nose in our kitchen. <laughs> there's always a dog nose. You'll and usually a great big one. Well, there's probably going to be one before it's over. Yep. I'm just going to chop this cheese up. These guys there know. He comes. <laughs> these guys know what cheese is. Bo is the only one who does it. He just waits his turn. He's watching from the sofa over there, but he's he's very polite. Our water for the noodles is about to come to a boil. Hi, Jill. Glad you're here. So once that happens, we're going to uh, drop the noodles in there. They should be done just about on time. And we are 164. That's great. Thank oh, you. Wow, I didn't really I wasn't even looking at that. That's wonderful. Everybody sprinkle for me. The magic number would be 200 for oh, me. I would love that. Yeah. Oh, Vanetta. Yes. I'm so glad you're here. And if y'all just came on, um, I've been uploading all of his cooking videos to our YouTube channel today. Um, this one will go up tomorrow. All right, our water is boiling for the noodles, so I'm going to give these guys a bite of cheese. There you go, buddy. Are you going to call those? Quick wash of the hands, and then the noodles are going into the water. Judy, our cat loves cheese. That's, I mean, anything cheese flavored. He loves Cheetos. Isn't it crazy? Cheetos yeah. and Doritos. Betty said you might reach 200 if you did delivery. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Domino's. <laughs> Welcome, Alice. I'm so glad you're here. It's Alice's first time to watch. Alice, glad to have you. And Sandy said, it's the first time I've caught cooking good looking. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we got, we, I'm going to use you all star money to order him that apron that said, what did it say? Betty, was it Betty that posted that? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> he does, he turned red. I, what was it, Betty? That cute apron, something about, what, I don't know, good looking? I don't know. He is, he's pretty. All right, y'all, uh, give your noodles a stir every little bit so that they don't stick to the bottom of the, the pot there. One, 180, we just got to 180. Yay. Oh, was it wasn't you, Betty. Who was it? They posted this. Maybe it was Patricia. All right, my milk is to a boil here. So we're, once it's to a boil, we want to stir it for another minute. Just to let it roux and cook, you'll see that that begins to thicken because of the uh, the flour that's in there. The flour and the milk and butter mixture is going to thicken. I'm going to turn that, the Hi, noodles Gracie. down just a little bit. Susie. Every once in a while, stir that those noodles so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. And wax on, wax off. It All goes right. up and then it goes down. We can't keep them. All right, so, and it was cooking with good looking is the way it's read. <laughs> oh, cooking with good looking? <laughs> Betty said you were ignoring that question, yeah. So I got to find that uh, apron for him to wear on his lives. All right, so once this starts to boil you've cooked and you've stirred it for one minute after it's boiled, turn the heat down to a medium, and we're going to start dumping this cheese in there to melt that. 
and that will cool it a little bit, keep you, it from. You told them that once it starts bubbling, it stir it one minute more. Cook I it. did. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna read now. Hey, there's Jody. There's Brother Taterbug in. He said, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Hey, Jody, my little brother there. All right, so we got to. Mm. Thanks, Donna. Welcome. He's cooking uh, Grandma Tate's meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. So we're just stirring this uh, roux with the cheese in it now because we want to melt that cheese in there. The noodles are almost ready to go. We want to cook those noodles a little, a little over al dente. Gail, he put a little bit of butter in it, in the uh, water so that they wouldn't stick. Yeah, that's a great tip. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we were, we're so close to 200. It goes up and then down. We're almost there. Thank it's, you very much. Sprinkle, sprinkle, and here. toss the taters. So we do still, we have to continue stirring this so that that Velveeta melts in there. Betty, yes, he finally fessed up and said the apron said, cook him with good looking. <laughs> I think it was that or what's cooking good looking or something like something that. Something like, yeah, anyway, it was so cute. I've yeah. got to order him one. It had not, it wasn't me, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, our noodles are just about there. The cheese is just about melted. I'm going to keep stirring that and get my strainer out because I'm going to have to strain. It takes some multi-talent to make this macaroni cheese going all at once. And the cheese is just about melted in there. That's going to be so yummy. Diane, we're so close. Thanks, Denise. Y'all are tossing those taters for us. Yes, thank you. Bring it. Where yeah. are we? 194. Surely you got a few friends there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, y'all. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, I've been seeing all those hearts. Y'all are so sweet. I got a surprise, too, at the end of the show for you. I'll tell you about that at the end of the show. Yeah. Yeah, Sarah, it's so close. All right, so uh, the cheese is all melted. We're going to turn this burner off. We're going to... Strain these noodles right quick. Hey, Cindy. Oh, thank you, Christine. Uh, yeah, Joanne, I actually, it will post, both of these recipes are going to post at 7.30 tonight. So you'll have them. Thank you for the stars, Natalie. That'll go toward his apron fund. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All Thanks, right, Sylvia. so now the noodles go right into the cheese mixture. I'm making a great mess over here in the kitchen for Lindy to clean up later. <laughs> yeah, you'd want to um, have probably, I usually would try to have something green to go with this meal, but, you know, time. So y'all Open can a can some, of green beans or something. Yeah, you know, you can figure out some broccoli. You know, we do broccoli a lot. So. <laughs> all right, so at this point, go ahead and turn the, the heat all the way off of this pot. Once you pour the noodles in there, we're just going to stir those in there. Get everything coated and soaked in with that good cheese and milk mixture. Mac and cheese is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, we haven't had we haven't had it in a while either. I haven't had it. I in always a while. make it the holidays and then all a right. few times a year. Yeah, right, Sarah. That's our deal, and I'm great with it. That's what they're all saying. They'd gladly clean up if somebody would cook. I said that <laughs> my whole life. Yeah. All right, ladies, take what? Nine by 13. Oh, y'all are saying 200, and I'm, I'm seeing 191. Oh, my goodness. Green beans and meatloaf. That's right, Amanda. There, there you go. Okay, so. <laughs> Eva says, well, you're starving me to death. Have a 9 by 13 casserole dish. We're going to pour that right in there. Look at that yummy. Oh, you want to stick your face in that? Oh, I'm telling you. That is going to be. Ooh, darn. <laughs> if y'all don't know that story, look up his ooh, darn chicken on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Uh, 
Yeah, I see 197. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, so just kind of spread that around real good so that the macaroni is kind of even. Trish, have you never tried my macaroni and cheese? Trish, like, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a great cook, but that's one thing I could I could do. She can rock that. All right, so macaroni's in the in the casserole dish. I'm gonna get some shredded cheese. That's true, Patricia. I do love good old mashed potatoes with uh, meatloaf. Absolutely. All right, so take about three quarters of a cup of shredded cheese or however much you want to put on there. You know, cheese, you can't get enough. My uh, maternal grandmother always made our favorite macaroni and cheese. Me and my cousin loved her macaroni and cheese. And I don't have, I wish I could make it as good as her. This is as close as I can come, but I tried. This is so delicious. You, it's as good as anything she ever made. I miss made. her macaroni and cheese. We, we love it. Oh, we're at 206. Yay. I think you should dance a jig. I think <laughs> He said, what the heck are you doing, Dad? What did y'all do? It all, shut up, 214. My goodness, y'all are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, right. he smells that cheese. Uh-oh, left, left the refrigerator open. <laughs> I was just watching you do your jig. I think I found my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Second, let me clean my hands again because I gave my puppy a bite Yay. of cheese. Oh. So, so, your macaroni and cheese, I'm going to try not to spill this, but that's what it looks like, ready to go. You just sprinkle it, uh, some good sharp cheddar cheese over the top, and it's ready to go in the oven. Oh, thanks for all the hearts, y'all. They said Mr. T is uh, dan giving dance lessons next Friday. That'll be, <laughs> yeah, that'll be next. <laughs> y'all don't want that, do you? Y'all don't even want that. Thank you, Jill. Excuse me just a minute. Uh, Carolyn says, put it in the oven already. No. She's sick of this. <laughs> it's, it's ready to go in. <laughs> okay, we're going to, but we're still waiting on the uh, meatloaf, so... I have a timer going for the meatloaf. It says 40 minutes. We want this macaroni and cheese to stay in the oven for 20 minutes. Because all you're going to do at this point is get it bubbly. So, we're going to, our timer for the uh, meatloaf is at 40 minutes right now. Uh, I'll pull that all out. I'll pull the macaroni and cheese out at 20 minutes. My, uh, meatloaf will be done by then. Oh, that's so, great, Billy. Billy's husband is her cook at his at her house, and he's watching tonight. So that's great. Oh, really? Okay, glad to, uh, glad to have you, Billy. Uh, Sandra, you won't have to. Um, the two recipes are going to post at seven thirty tonight. So watch our tater bugging page. So what happens is, let me just. You did, Kathy. You picked a great night to be here. Through the magic of television. <laughs> Here's your macaroni and cheese, ready to go. Cheese is all melted on there. And that's enough to feed an army right there. Well, Shonda said, I'm rather disappointed in the dinner I just ate after watching this. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Well, it's, it's really good. This macaroni and cheese is to die for, but so is a meatloaf. Now, a lot of people put ketchup or tomato paste, tomato sauce on top of a meatloaf. This meatloaf has such a great taste. I want you to cook it without that and try it just plain. But if you like a tomato sauce, you can easily you add it. You can add it. Sure. But I'll go back to my original statement of try it this way first and then go back and tweak it your way if you'd like. But that is a great, great meatloaf so I'm gonna have to plate it yes and I was gonna tell them uh, the new if you're new here um, where does yeah, that 
Carmela says, no, don't tomato it up. Yeah, I'm not, there you um, go. I'm don't not tomato a tomato person very much, but my parents live next door, so when he cooks for y'all and has to cook in advance, and we have two meals, they get, they get a whole meal out of it, so. Um, Lori, can it be frozen, she says. I would imagine so. Yes, it can be frozen. Either one of them can be frozen. Ooh, even uh, macaroni and cheese? Yes, I would say I don't see any reason you couldn't. I don't see any reason you couldn't. Go on and, and then bring eat it. it back out. I say go on and eat it. <laughs> yeah. Once you dig into it, you're gonna you're probably gonna go through it pretty quickly. Especially if you've got a good family. Yeah. We share. We um, It looks great. Yeah. I have not taken a lot of time, but I am gonna plate this for you. Ooh, a leftover meatloaf meatloaf sandwich. Yes, that was one of my dad's favorites. That is one of my favorites too. Yeah, so All right, it so won't go to waste. None of this food goes to waste. Let's really. see if everybody can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna plate this for you. Yeah, my parents get excited when they know he's doing a well, there are a lot of nights when he's cooking, uh, he'll go on and tell them he's going to bring them a plate. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's great. We love having them right next door. So, Leah says she does freeze extra macaroni and cheese. That's great to know. Yep. I just never have any leftover macaroni and cheese. <laughs> oh, thanks, Erin. Hey, Tanya. Oh, it smells so good in here, y'all. And earlier today, you know, when he cooked ahead of time, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Bev, y'all have to catch these on replay. And if you've missed any of his videos, you can find them on a playlist on our YouTube page. Look at that. All right. Oh, don't. So, don't hold on to that macaroni don't cheese. Don't do like you did the grease. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni I, cheese trying to get away. The dogs will be so happy. Yes, he would, because he's standing right underneath me uh, right now. All right, so we've got a good fresh mac, uh, macaroni and cheese dish. We've got a very, very tasty meatloaf. Uh, the, the the meatloaf you just won't you just you won't believe how good that is. And Denise, my mother will quickly tell you she has the very best son-in-law that ever lived. He is so good to my parents. I cannot even tell you. So I'm gonna have to try the meatloaf. A little bite of that. Do it. Try it. Mm. That's a little bite? <laughs> did you do Grandma Proud? You I, did, did I think I did. He's been so excited. He loves this meal. Yeah, and some macaroni. I don't either, Tanya, but I love this meatloaf. We told that story back in the beginning. Yeah, his grandmother made it for me, and mm. I had to have the recipe. Mm. Ooh, darn. He is a Dancing jig. <laughs> Absolutely. You can pick it up at the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> we have a porch pickup box. <laughs> we do. We got a pitch porch pickup box out front. Okay. Um, I have a surprise for you. And there's a little story that's going to go with that. Excuse me a minute. Oh, y'all are so sweet to, to shoot up those hearts and laughing faces. They love that jig. <laughs> <laughs> they love that jig. Uh, we're still at 200. Thank you, folks. Oh, y'all are awesome. Uh, put a little something together oh, earlier. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> that, and I'll let you see it. It's dessert. But the thing is, you have to guess what it is. I'll let you see the side. There we go. And I'm going to plate a little piece of it. If I can keep Lindy out of it long enough. <laughs> I gotta taste this. Oh, um, the thing is, he is, uh, he's gonna cook something. We're gonna have Lee come back over um, to craft with me. We already, we've got it all planned out, y'all. We just gotta get the date. And he's gonna cook, and then Lee and I are gonna craft while it cooks and then eat it, taste it at the end. Oh, banana pudding, no, it's not, but I would love that. 
Amanda says, oh, snap, dessert too? <laughs> yeah. They all think it's banana pudding. So, okay, real close. That is not banana pudding. Michelle says peach crisp. No. Norma says custard with oatmeal. No. Oh, I love y'all's uh, guesses. But I'm going to give says you... says cheesecake. Not cheesecake. We did that one. Okay, so, so should I tell them what that Butterscotch is? Butterscotch pudding, Cynthia says? Nope, it's brown. Bread pudding, lemon cheesecake? No. Nope. These are great. Nope, that's good guesses. Should I tell them what it is? Go ahead. I'm going to tell you what it is, but I'm not going to tell you the recipe or anything because that is coming. Uh, that's sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, that is tiramisu. <gasps> Toffee. Yes. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. You are not going to eat that in front of me, are you? I am. My mouth is water. Oh, I get a bite. Uh -oh. Wait, wait my keyboard. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, wee. Mm. Uh, That's to come. That's coming up. Whenever these girls get together again. Trisha Ooh. says, bring it to my house. Something wrong with that girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. That is 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm such a tease. <laughs> uh, well, so, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for getting my numbers up so high. We're, we're bumping back up to 207 again. Yeah. Do y'all have any questions? If you have any questions about the recipe... We are going to post the recipe for the meatloaf and the and the macaroni and cheese, not the tiramisu. No, no, no. That's a, that's a surprise. A couple of them are saying they don't like coffee, so they don't like tiramisu. You lost them on that one. We may have to come up with a different. We're going to have tiramisu, to tease them with something really? else. I love coffee. Mm. Yeah, well, you got to try it, I think. <laughs> well, there's Brenda Metz. Hey, Brenda. Old neighbor of ours. Love the painting in the background. Which painting, Brenda? What's in the background? I don't know. Uh. Oh, Michelle said this was super fun. Thank you. Well, I'm glad to have everybody here with us. Uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, Lindy will be live again Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, those of you that uh, haven't, go look at our shop at Taterbuggin.com. MyShopify.com. Look, and that's the first one he's gotten. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Lori was watching a movie that made her cry. So. <laughs> what did? Okay, wait. Penny says she still wants to see the thing over the window. So tell them about that. Show them Over that. the window. Okay. Uh, we got a little time left. It's not quite one hour. Let's see. That is an old ox yoke that we have up on the... Uh, we found it in a barn. Yeah, we found that in a barn and uh, and one of our scavenger hunts. And I loved it so much. He was like, you want to hang it where? <laughs> yeah. He also made a an old wooden pulley into a pendant lamp for us. I'll have to show y'all a picture from that same barn. It was really, really... I can show them. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Uh, over in the corner, there's some of Lindy's artwork, but uh, this is an old pulley that I found in a barn and I made a lamp out of it. And there you have it. So, Thanks again for joining us. We're going to go. Thank you for uh, all your support. And uh, Lindy will see you Sunday. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now. Love y'all.